Let's go over new images for Solo A Star Wars Story. This is Mike Zero here once again. If you guys are new here to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. Now in case you guys didn't know, this week is Solo Week on EW, Entertainment Weekly's website, which by the way will be linked below in the description, go ahead and check it out where they will be giving us brand new information, details, and images to give us a better idea of the tone and the visuals of this movie by director Ron Howard. So starting off with the first image here, we have both Han and Chewbacca in the Millennium Falcon. All right, so in the cockpit piloting this thing. And what's so great about this is that if you just look at the cockpit, right? If you look at the overall interior of the Falcon, it looks significantly different in comparison to how it looked in the original trilogy and in the sequel trilogy. Now, moving on to the cover of the magazine, it states, when Han met Chewie, learn the origins of, our, of your favorite freedom fighter and Wookiee in Solo. The funniest Star Wars movie yet. And you have a nice HD image of Han Solo and Chewbacca side by side. Moving on to the next image here, we have Han Solo once again in the same exact uniform on the planet Corellia with some civilians in the background and some soldiers as well. Now, as far as I can see, I don't see any of the main characters in the background there, such as Lando Calrissian or Beckett. So this could very well be the scene that we actually do see in the official teaser trailer in which he's talking to Amelia Clark's character, Kira, underneath that tent. Moving on to the next one, we have Lando Calrissian and a couple of creatures all the way to the left over there. This is actually... I believe where he's going to be going up against Han Solo in a game of Sabek, where they essentially compete for the Millennium Falcon. This may very well be the moment in which Han Solo beats Lando Calrissian fair and square. They could very well explore that aspect of the movie right then and there in this image. Because if you look on the table, I do see from what it appears to be a stack of coins and cards. And he's holding something right there that appears to be a card of some sort. So moving on to the next image, all right, Amelia Clark and Han Solo having some drinks here. It's almost like, you know, they're just having a nice party on board of a ship or inside of an interesting building. Now, we're not quite sure exactly where this is placed. It could very well be on the planet Corellia or Mimbon, for all we know. We do know that the planet Mimbon has a black market, so it could very well be possible that that black market also has a little area in which there's a lot of dancers, Twi'leks, and of course, drinks. So that could very well be connected to that whole entire planet, for all we know. But as far as Amelia Clark and Han Solo's outfits go, they look great here. Moving on to the next image, we have both Chewbacca and Han Solo on board of the speeding train. Now, this is also said to be on the planet Corellia. Corellia is said to be a planet that's a mixture of snow and ice and a desert-esque planet with a lot of sand. So it's kind of like Starkiller Base and Tatooine mixed together as far as what we gathered here when it comes to the planet Corellia. This speeding train sequence, by the way, is something that really comes directly out of a Western movie, which Ron Howard was really trying to essentially go for in the Solo A Star Wars Story movie. Moving on to the next image, and this is honestly one of my favorite ones as I see this for the first time right now. We have, Millennium, we have the Millennium Falcon, and we have Beckett, Chewbacca, and Han Solo all in the same exact sequence, all right? But we do have the Millennium Falcon looking very, very different. You can see that the seats are all yellow from what it appears, and this is the Falcon. I know there was a lot of speculation before when the Super Bowl teaser came out on um, whether or not this was actually the Falcon when it was going through the main corridors, but it is. You can see the seats here, you can see that spot where, you know, they play the game. Everything looks great. Now, my only question is, how does the Falcon get so dirty and grimy in a matter of 10 years? Hopefully we find out at the very end of this movie. Now, one of my favorite images as well is, I believe all the way to the left there is Han Solo either A, in disguise, in an imperial outfit or this is when he's in the flight academy or in or a part of the imperial navy of some sorts to a degree now we do have a droid over there in the background it sort of reminds me 
of you know all of these like the imagery the, the imagery sort of reminds me of star wars a new hope and rogue one a star wars story the way that they're going forward the cinematography especially in this shot it really does remind me of the sequences in rogue one now overall guys i would really love to hear your opinion on the images that we presented today all thanks to ew what do you think about the han solo movie how do you feel about alden ehrenreich's look as han solo drop a comment below let me know what you think about all of that and if you guys did enjoy the content for today do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel i thank you all so very much for the kind support and i'll catch you guys next time